Hello, everyone. Today's lesson is called the Church Federation. In the message of Elijah, the final message to us as the Seventh Day Adventist, uh, we know that the Church Federation is important. Uh, it speaks of the uh, Church Federation many times and uh, gives us a lot of light for this federation. And so what we would like to do today is put this uh, report together, kind of uh, look at the uh, the message in regards to this specific topic. And um, we want to lay it out so that we have more of a clear conception, hopefully, that uh, this church federation is pretty clear. It's pretty clear from the message uh, how it takes place, when it takes place, and, and what it's generally about. So um, we're going to begin the study with prayer. And we ask you to uh, join us in this prayer. Thank you, Father, for another study before the brethren. Be with, be with us as we now bring this study to YouTube and uh, share the light that you've given us concerning the Church Federation. We ask that the people be blessed and uh, get a good conception of truth from your message. In Jesus' Jesus's name we pray. Amen. Okay, so as we can see, um, the, uh, the leaders are going to be coming together very soon and forming what's known as the Church Federation. And uh, we're going to begin this study with the, um, the charts. There's three that we know of that speak about this uh, Church Federation. And it's important that we look at these charts because these charts are very, very key to understanding the message. As, as we know, the symbols and the the way that the the Lord gave Brother Hadoff to write it out is very clear. And I, all we have to do is uh, observe it and learn it and believe it. And, and when, we're, when we do this, we're really in touch with the Lord and his message through uh, through his symbols. Okay, let's look at the first one, and this is probably the one the one that's most clearest about the Church Federation. And as we can see, it's uh, the harvest period and the close of probation. Now, I'm going to take our arrow. We've got our arrow right here, and I'm going to go ahead and highlight some things, and uh, we'll go over the chart. As you see, uh, we have in this this area right here the Ezekiel nine Church Judgment. So inspiration is pretty clear that this is a path. This whole um, chart here is giving us a path of the events to happen. And uh, we see from the first uh, one here, the slain, that uh, there develops a church federation. As we can see on the path here, this comes into being after Ezekiel 9. It's important to remember that this is on the path. And we also see that this is during the loud cry. So as these things we'll go over right here, as we go over these, these things, the Church Federation, the false prophet in the United States, and, um, and the woman that sets upon the world international beast, uh, this is in the time of the harvest. This is the time of the loud cry. So there's going to be a dual work here, as we know from the message. The one side is going to go with the mark of the beast, and one side's going to go with the saints uh, and the Lord's um, message of, uh, of truth in this period. So there's going to be a great battle during this period here. But uh, like we say, uh, Church Federation comes first after Ezekiel 9. And of course, we, you, we, will, we will look at this, Revelation 17, 9, and Great Controversy, page 588. And uh, whenever... Uh, rev, uh, inspiration gives us specific references. Uh, those are key. Okay, they're not uh, just casually put out there. They are something that we need to know in regards to this church federation. So we'll look at that. And then as we see down further on the path, the timeline, we come up to the beast and the false prophet. And again, this uh, happens uh, subsequently to the church federation as according to the chart here. And uh, we'll take a look at that. And then uh, further down, we see in the timeline, the union of the church and the state. Again, it shows uh, Revelation 17, three and six testimony, uh, page uh, 395. 
So um, this is the the outstanding uh, points that we want to bring in our study today. Is is this this area right here as we're we're circling? Okay, let's go to the next chart. And uh, this was made in the Shepherd's Rod volume in 1932. At least it was published in 1932. He may have, uh, Brother Hoff may have made this prior to that, you know, in 30, 31, and then put it in the publication of the Shepherd's Rod volume two. But um, we want to note something here. And you'll notice that it's uh, Ezekiel 9 again. But then you remember that it's opposite of the last chart. We see in the timeline the false prophet appears before the church federation do you notice that so we have the church federation here and then but we have that prior to that the um the the federation the, um uh the uh the timeline is different okay so what what are we to make of that well we'll, we'll talk about that in a minute here and then uh, of course we have the the third happening here which is again uh, uh, the same as the um, the first chart. The final phase is when the the woman sits upon the international uh, beast uh, around the world. Okay, so let's go forward here to the next chart. Okay, now. In this chart here, we're, we're not given as much details as the other two charts, but we have some things that we want to look at. Obviously, the uh, leopard-like beast here, and then we have the, um, the two-armed beast, United States, which comes into being after the, uh, the leopard-like beast. And, um, <clears throat> and, then we, um, and then we see down here, and obviously, see, we, we, we don't have any indication of the timing of Ezekiel 9, but of course, with the, the prior two uh, charts, we know that the Church Federation sits here after Ezekiel 9. And again, we have the important quote, uh, Revelation 17, 9, uh, that we need to look at in regards to this woman sitting upon the seven heads. And then, of course, in the path down further, we have, according to, in, in supplement of the other charts, we have, again, the timeline showing church purification, then uh, the woman riding upon the uh, the seven heads, the international uh, mark of the beast system. Okay, so in that important quote, 17.9 Revelation, it says, And here is the mind which hath wisdom. The seven heads are the seven mountains on which the woman sitteth. So we're all pretty clear on that, uh, on that basic teaching. And then, of course, we have the other one, which is Great Controversy, page 588. The Protestants of the United States will be foremost in stretching their hands across the gulf to grasp the hands of spiritualism. They will reach over the abyss to class hands with the Roman power. And under the influence of this threefold union, this country, United States, will follow in the steps of Rome in trampling on the rights of conscience. So here's a very powerful statement that uh, the Rod uses from Spirit Prophecy that the United States uh, Protestant uh, religion, which is, you know, as we know, the, the many Protestant sects among the United States uh, are going to lead out in, in reaching over to grasp the hand of spiritualism. And um, that will form a, three, um, a threefold union. And again, this, this is all about that church federation that we saw in the charts. This is the woman sitting upon the seven heads. Now, I want to address a, a discrepancy. Remember when we looked at the chart, we saw that one chart, it showed in the timeline, the false prophet coming first before the church federation. And then we see the other chart showing the opposite. Well, whenever we see something like that, we have to look for more evidence. Well, which one is right? And the rod clears it with its own words. And that can be found in Shepherd's Rod, volume 2, page 158. Preliminary to the miracle working power 
which is uh, the false prophet and um, the workings of the false prophet. Protestantism, Catholicism, and spiritualism will have grasped each other's hands by means of a church federation. Okay, so this is very clear. Prior to the time of the false prophet. So we have to go back to that first chart that we looked at and say, well, that is the solid evidence that we need to stand upon. Uh, we don't know why um, in the second chart, Brother Hodder made the difference there, but apparently this here, the written word, lets us know how we should correctly see that. Okay, this is a little bit more on the woman sitting on the heads. Um, said the angel, the seven heads are seven mountains on which the women sit at the Revelation 17, 9. It has been previously explained that the heads represent the present-day apostate Christendom. Uh, see pages 88, and 80, uh, 88 to 96 uh, uh, of the Shepherd's Rod, Volume 2. They are called mountains, denominations, seven in number, meaning all. Okay, this is very important. Remember, all the denominations are coming together, as we see. Uh, as the prostitute sits on all seven, the symbol with unmistakable evidence reveals that so-called Christendom will submit itself to be governed by one head, of which the woman, the woman is a symbol. And again, we see that uh, that's... Uh, supported by Great Controversy, page uh, 588. This is pretty pretty basic teachings. I think we all we all have a good understanding of, of this this area here. Okay, so after that initial first stage of church federation, where the the uh, the sects come together and form a, a federation, a union. Um, then we read this one here. The difference of opinion in doctrinal points will be considered of no value importance uh, to salvation. They will see in that apparent, apparently innocent union a great movement for the settlement of differences as well as for the conversion of the world. At the appearance of the false prophet and of Satan himself, their expe uh, expectations will be realized and the ushering in of the long expected millennial time of peace shall be proclaimed to be at hand. Thus on the surface, it will bear evidence that the world's crisis are about to end. But as God's people have been warned of it all, they refuse to worship the image of the beast, which is the false international religion and will be charged as rebellious, disturbers of the peace, troublemakers. This will bring the great persecution of Revelation 12, 17. Again, that's pretty basic. We all kind of have a good of understanding of that. But this is after that initial stage. Okay, So we have to remember that the church federation comes first, and then Satan comes upon the scene, masquerading, as we know, um, his false prophet doing all those miracles, and Satan himself, you know, masquerading as uh, Jesus himself. That's what uh, the word says. So we see a lot of, uh, of falseness coming here after the church is set up in its federation. So there's a process that's coming along here. And again, we want to go back to that chart. And this all confirms what we, we learned already that uh, we'll see here the the, the Ezekiel 9, uh, Church Federation, then the false prophet. And now at this time here, it is believed from the message that they institute the first phase of the Sunday law. Okay, so right in here, because it says Revelation 13, four, uh, 14 uh, to 18. Okay, so we are confirmed in this period that the United States sets up the Sunday law before it's set up internationally. You see that? So understand that the first part of this uh, beast system, this, this uh, international Sunday law, is set up within the United States. So it leads out with the false prophet, all the workings, the miracles. And keep in mind, during this uh, time, it is the loud cry. So opposite this guy here and all this workings, is the 144,000 in their miraculous work. So the great controversy is taking place during this time, as we know, and the great fight, the spiritual battle. In other words, 
the great work by the 144,000 and the great work by Satan and uh, the false prophet all meet together. And this is what uh, uh, this great period of time, uh, the events happen in this time. So we see an evolution, the evolution from federation to world beast system. The period represented by the scarlet cover beast commenced in 1929, at which time the deadly wound was healed. But his career is not fully developed until the woman shall sit upon his back. Again, this is words confirming the chart. So this is what's beautiful about the message. We can see the clarity of it as we study the whole message. and We take all the pieces and put them together. The commencement of that act will be marked when the following prediction is fully realized. When Protestantism shall stretch forth her hand across the gulf to grasp the hand of Roman power, and, we sh and she shall reach over the abyss to clasp hands with spiritualism, when under the influence of this threefold union, our country shall repudiate every principle of its constitution as a Protestant and Republican government, and shall make provision for the promulgation propagation of papal falsehoods and delusions. Then we may know that the time has come for the marvelous working of Satan at the end is near. So as this church federation comes together, it is now time for the soon appearance of Satan and the marvelous workings. And that again goes according to the chart. So we've seen clearly the federation comes in, Satan now is able to appear, give uh, uh, credibility for this uh, false union with the miracles and power. And it's so wonderful. On one hand, it's so wonderful to the false uh, believers, to those that are snared, that it soon increases to the world. And uh, there's a great division here. You know, which side do we believe? Do we believe the false prophet and all his miracles, or do we believe the 144,000 uh, and all their miracles and the Lord working through his army, his great army, to bring the, the people into the, to the, to the, uh, to the land, the holy land, uh, the great multitude. Okay, so let's take a quick summary here. Uh, as we know, number one, the woman sits upon the heads, all Christian religions, and forms a confederacy, the union. And this happens after Ezekiel 9. Now, I want to highlight that for a second. We have been taught in some circles amongst us, present truth believers, that this union, this, this, this um, federation takes place before Ezekiel 9. And um, we, we have seen the preponderance of evidence, and that does not suggest that this happening. It suggests the opposite, that it happens after Ezekiel 9. We have uh, those charts, those three charts, all confirming that, back to back to back. And then we, of course, have many areas of the, of the message that confirm this as well. So we have to go on the preponderance of evidence that it happens after Ezekiel 9. The, church, the USA leads out with the working of Satan. This is number two. After the, unions, the union has been made, the Confederacy, uh, the 6-6 six, six man and the false prophet in proclaiming the sacredness of Sunday worship, the beast system. The United States is the leader here, as we know, the two-horned beast. Number three, because of this miracle working power and the Satan's delusions, the world follows and an international mark of the beast system is set up. The woman rides the beast at that time. And number four, the great controversy comes to an end after this battle has taken place. We don't know how long this will be. Uh, there are several places in the message, though, that does say that it's going to be fairly quickly. So, you know, the, that idea that this is going to be drawn out for many, many years, I don't think is backed up by the, the, the message. And uh, the issue of worship is closed. The woman, the beast, the 666 man, the false prophet all end their unholy work, Revelation 19.20. So this is a summary today of the Church Federation. We hope you've been blessed. Um, this There's a lot of issues here involving um, this this part of the message, and we've only touched on a, a part of it. Of course, you know, we, we could go over more about that workings of Satan and, 
the time period uh, that the uh, the saints are fighting this work uh when does the the um, the saints pull out the the great multitude in regards to the church federation and, and a lot of more more things that we can touch on and certainly we will as, as the spirit guides but uh we wanted to bring this report today and we hope you've been blessed and uh, until next time may god continue to guide you into all truth and um uh, we shall meet you again when the Spirit uh, tells us to do another report. God bless.